My primary role in our vineyards is to manage our technical program. So that's things like our spray programs, our pest and disease, our yield, yield management and monitoring, setting targets for different blocks, uh, and setting the viticultural program as well. Under control. So I started out straight out, out of university, um, got a job, I asked for a reference and got offered a job, uh, and I basically started out driving a tractor and being the 2IC on some of our regional vineyards. And then from there I got involved with projects uh, to do with so end-to-end -end business software we were, we were developing. So I developed the business, uh, the vineyard side of that for us. Uh, and then from there that just grew into the current role I've got. I, I've always enjoyed being outside. Um, I've also uh, quite like the science business side of things as well. Um, and viticulture really provides a, a good balance of that for me. B.I. came from Wellington, dad's an accountant, mum's a teacher, grandparents are teachers. So yeah, no farming in my background. In horticulture there's certainly a lack of young people. Um, so that does open up a lot of opportunities for people that look for them. It's like anything, if you look for them and you, and you want to go for them, they're, they're there for you. So we've got a real team structure here. Uh, so we've got the National Vineyard Manager, myself, and then we've got Vineyard Managers okay. on each of our sure. sites. And we make decisions as a group. We don't, no one tells anybody what to do um, in terms of viticultural decisions. And the responsibility lies with the different people in different parts of the, season, of the, of the structure and, and different decisions. And because of that, we have to work together to achieve the best outcomes and I think that actually allows us to achieve a better outcome than one person's opinion. The weather is definitely the biggest challenge. <laughs> it's the only thing you can't plan for and can't change. But there's lots of small challenges along the way. I think there's nothing you do which is easy. I think that would be boring if everything was easy. Uh, hand picking's a challenge. We've got 60 pickers out at one of the vineyards today all hand picking, so you've got to organise that. Um, organise fruit transport around the country, got to organise the spray programs. Everything's got its challenges. The fact that I'm doing something different every day, I'm out there, you never quite know exactly what the next day is going to bring. You continue learning and growing, um, and what you're doing is making a difference. You know, I'm, I'm lucky I'm working for a really nice winery, we produce some fantastic wine, and I can take that wine and take it around to my friends' places, dinner, or I can show people that wine. I was involved a couple of weeks ago, we had a big function for all our sort of key customers. I was pouring some of our premium wine there, and to be able to interact with those customers and see how much joy they get of something you produce is really, really satisfying.